We're featuring my interview with science communicator extraordinaire Bill Nye. And I asked how his interest in comedy and his background in engineering coalesced into the identity of the science guy. Let's check it out. It's a, a wonderful thing to get people to laugh at your comedy jokes. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing stand-up or trying to do stand-up. Like in stand-up clubs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I would work on a drawing board and then I would go home and take a nap and then go to comedy clubs. So you were engineer by day, comedian by night. That's, yes. <laughs> or that was what I was trying to do. It's a problem, the thing that always troubles so is me. engineering still in your head at some point? Yeah, I miss it. While you're doing that? Yeah, I, yeah. I, so was the stick engineering informed? Yes, that's it? what I say. Hilarious yeah. jokes about electrocuting yourself while trying to fix a blender. Wow, is that funny. <laughs> and chewing marshmallows frozen in liquid nitrogen so that steam comes out of your nose. And it's hilarious, come on, it's a payoff. <laughs> and I realized that what I wanted to do, Neil, I, I came of age at a time for me as a mechanical engineer, it was really troubling. We had the Chevy Vega and the Ford Pinto. And these were just badly designed cars. The administration decided not to embrace the metric system, something you and I haven't fully agreed on, is my belief. <laughs> this is America, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt the United States was falling behind uh, industrially. This is America. So I got very concerned about the future. I'm not kidding you, very concerned. And I realized, working at the Science Center in Seattle, that young people are the key to the future. I mean, this is obvious, but... They're the key to our industrial future. They're in key to our economic competitiveness. They're, they're key to the future of civilization. Civilization. And so I wanted to get kids excited about science in the same way I had been excited about science by my teachers and a television guy named Don Herbert, Mr. Wizard. I remember Mr. Wizard. So all this came together That's into a unique arc of life. That's my claim. That's my story.